You're right. True. The only reason I would even consider getting married at this age, if I wasn't with the person that I was with, is marketing. <laughs> That's it. Like she yeah. got to be a woman that I could that yeah. I can you know use to market myself more effectively. And then we could, you know, both benefit from that on that type 100%. of front. But from a business perspective, it doesn't make sense. What do you think about, do you think guys, would you say if you were talking to guys right now who are, you know, that's my age, whatever, that were getting married, has been able to have a little bit of traction, would you suggest guys uh, looking to prenuptial agreements? I don't think that a guy should ever get married without getting a prenup, unless he's getting married young and he don't necessarily have anything right you guys i would never ever get married without a prenup i wouldn't yo i'm reading the stories every single day right yeah about guys as late i mean because until you update family court laws it's just egregious i'm reading stories every single day about guys that didn't necessarily know they value and know they worth Mm -hmm. they didn't know that they were going to be even greater and higher at the top of the food chain right yeah they got there and for whatever reason, it didn't work out. It doesn't re- really even matter whether or not it don't work out. Right. And they got took to the cleaners. To the cleaners, man. They got you took know, to the cleaners, bro. It's funny. Chris Rock said, Chris Rock said, my ex-wife is a genius. It says, uh, she has just as much money as me, and she's not funny at all. <laughs> right. I mean, seriously. <laughs> like, seriously. That is in, true. In, in the, whole th- the whole narrative of it, and the reason why, you know, it's not to be, it's not to be, you know, like stingy or anything like that, but it's oh, to be, it is. you know, it's, it's just to say, hey, look, you know, here's the thing. I'm not even the, I'm not even the wealthiest guy in the world. You know what I mean? Or anything yeah. like that. But it's, the thing is, is, you know, I've, purchase assets for the purpose of my kids being able to benefit from those moves I made. Yeah. The last thing I want is, you know, some woman who comes out of nowhere and 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 strip the money I do have from me. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I mean, but I, I also built- think that girl, I think that women that have built up significant assets or believe that they're going to be in a, I think that they should also get a prenuptial agreement. True, I'm yeah. not just you know Saying singular like guy I think girl, that yeah. people should separate that stuff. If right. you did not build it together if you didn't build it together, then I think that you should get a prenup right. agreement. That's just, for me, that's just logical. I don't think that anybody should should it, walk in there it, blindsided. It, it, as a as a dis, as a disclaimer, and then we'll get off the we'll get off the uh, the the millennials are doomed bandwagon after this. <laughs> um, but but I think that it's not even women's fault all the way. I think that the system is so set up mm-hmm. uh, where it's so um, attractive to get divorced. Like it's a very attractive yeah, setup. It like, like it's, it, it, it kind of women always end up doing. If you're dating a guy of means, always end up better outside of like maybe loneliness. They end up better when they're divorced. You know, I've been in women's short houses. Short term, short term. I'm, I'm not saying emotion or anything. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying their, their their lives are better set up because now whatever pressures they were under to be a good woman um, or a good wife, right, kind of disappear, right. Mm-hmm. But they mm-hmm. still have the protection and provi- They still have the provision of the financial benefit yeah. of the man and they'll have to deal with whatever the man wanted. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, whether it was cooking for him or cleaning for him or, or, or listening to him or, you know, sleeping with him, whatever she, she can just do what she wants. It's the wild, wild west. And now you got Meg Thee Stallion running around. You got all these <laughs> women running around with this like girl power stuff. And I think that's great, but I don't know if it's um, better for families. I know. I mean, I know for a fact it's not, I don't know any woman, um, that I can think of that I, and I, I've talked to a lot of guys. I've talked to a lot of women. I've coached a lot of people mm-hmm. from a relationship, from a financial perspective. I don't know any woman, including ones that are super successful that do not want to be married. I don't know one. That's true. I, I know. I know when they say, um, that's very true. I don't know any woman that want to be by herself. Yeah. That's true. And so they'll but, say stuff like I want a partner or something like that or whatever. You know, they're not willing to they're not the, willing to, to live a lower lifestyle, but I don't I think that they're as they get older, they become more willing to sacrifice in order to get somebody as 100%. a percent. Because in the beginning, I think all women think that they like deserve a certain type of guy. Correct. You know what I mean? And then two, I think that women sometimes have a skewed view of how many of those guys that are. I it, agree. it really is, right? And statistically, you know, um, you know, like or women are telling me all the time, like, oh my, because I get to talk to a lot of women because mm-hmm. of the gym, and like I'm a trader, and women tell their trainers all type of stuff, right? Like, you know, because I don't, one, I don't care that much, and then two, like I don't repeat it, and so they'll say, oh my, well, I date guys who are like, you know, I dated guys who are millionaires all the time, blah, blah, blah. and it's like, well, dating doesn't really count. It don't. It's not <laughs> the same as it's not. <laughs> it the same. Really we talking about like we're talking about like 
we're talking about like being able to take that take take that home, like go home with that I person agree. like live in that man's house like it's a very different I don't different... believe them all the time either when they say that to be honest with you. <laughs> I don't believe I them. just don't believe I don't believe it I, I like don't how think skeptical that anti- is. I don't even believe it Listen them. I don't yeah. think that a lot of these women even know what that looks like They don't even know Yeah they don't they have no clue whatsoever Right I think that they lying I genuinely <laughs> or, or in you my talk heart. To, or, or you talk to women like, oh, you know, X, Y, Z, and they tell you like details about it, and you're like, huh. I don't. I this think that they sound lying. like it's adding up. I but think I just, women you know. say that. I, and again, it's a difference between a guy that a uh, and they say dating. It's a difference between a guy that'll bust you down and a guy that's actually looking to be in a relationship with 100%. you. Let's, let's be clear, right? Hundred percent. But I don't. I don't think that they've really. I don't think that most of these women is, is ever dated a millionaire in their life. <laughs> I don't. I'm just not going for it. Hey, it's they gonna have to put a wool over his eyes. They gonna have to substantiate I their need some argument on that one. Sheets showing up. I don't up. believe it. They say that they know these guys. I'm not going for it because how many people now? Take yourself out of it, right? Mm-hmm. Take me out of it. Mm-hmm. How many people, just regular everyday chicks, regardless what they look like, just know a millionaire? I don't believe that they. I'm not going for it, bro. I'm not going for it. I'm not. And even if they know him, how many actually have access to him? They may know of a guy that right. is. Or know a guy that is a guy. But but part of it though, part of it though, women think millionaire means like, okay, I drive a nice car and I like wear nice clothes. Like, like, oh, I had to do with some money, whatever, da da da. And it's like, oh, okay. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> my, you know, oh, like my expenses, my Listen, my overhead, my business expenses is it ranges between seventy five thousand and one hundred twenty five thousand dollars a month. That's serious, though. A month, right? I don't believe that these women even remotely even know who they be dealing with. <laughs> they hey, don't. Look, I was trying to give credit because no cause clue. Because look, look, usually when I'm talking to people, that's how my goal is to get along with. When I'm talking to particularly yeah. women, my goal is to get along with them. Yeah, of course. And, and not, it's good for the business. not disagree. Right, yeah. so I'm always like listening, and I've gotten so good at hearing bullshit, and just be like, mm, "Sounds cool." <laughs> like, like I've gotten so good at it. I'm like, I'm like, people tell me stuff all the time. I'm just like, okay, you know what I mean? Like, and then two, oftentimes I tell women like, "Hey, it's weird. that's a good guy. You should really take a look at him." Whatever. It's like, no, he's kind of like corny. Like, and I'm telling them, I know this dude, and this dude do have some paper. This dude, yeah. you know, is a millionaire. You talk here tomorrow, he's corny. And you talk about, you know, uh, you know what? Well, I just was hoping that he would be a little bit taller. I was just, come on. Well, just, most women have passed much. up on a man that they were supposed to be with. That's true. I heard that before. That's a fact. And that's true. The dude and that if like, you really ask them, they'll tell you that too.